Hi, myself is Venkata Krishna uh, from Chris Software Solutions. In this video, we are going to discuss about Jira part. What are all the various things will be there in Jira for testers? What we need to do with Jira and what are all the different tasks will be there in Jira? So, how to create the uh, projects? This is the agenda for today's uh, video. Uh, create the project, create users, create version and epic on stories and starting the sprint, updating the story points. All these things will be done by the either Scrum Master or Jira Administrator. Whereas for the team is going to uh, do these are all the tasks, creating the task for each and every story, subtask, assign subtask to the team and burn the hours in Jira and sprint life cycle and uh, creating the bug. So these are all the things done by the team and also how to create the test cases and how to execute them and how to create the cycles and import the test cases from Excel. So these are all the agenda for uh, this video. So I hope at the end of this video you will get complete knowledge about how to work with the Jira part and all. Yeah, let me start with the how to uh, create the project and how to register as we have the cloud version even you can create your uh, cloud version and you can start practice on it. So before going to start the actual things if you are not subscribed to our channel chris software solutions please subscribe and encourage me to do more and more videos on our testing site I i'm trying my level best to give the best knowledge to you and uh, i think i am helping you to crack the interview also so if you are not subscribed please try to subscribe to my channel and help me on that okay so let me start from beginning how to create the cloud version of the Jira. Let me work on that. What you need to do is go to the Google and you can search with Jira account creation. So Jira account creation you can search with. So the first link free Jira software you are going to get it. Uh, click on that link. You need to have the your uh, Gmail ID uh, to create the cloud version of the Jira where in which you can start the practice on it. So yeah, you need to have the your uh, email id for creating the cloud version of the jira cloud version in the sense in the internet itself you can start the practice on it so they are giving uh, one week to two weeks trial version for us so you can all the features are available in this version so that you can start practice on uh, cloud version of the jira yeah so this is the page you are going to get it jira software click on next okay it will ask you to sign up with google and all I am signing up with my Google. Click on continue with Google. It will populate with the, all the things. I am registering with this. Okay. Uh, online testing guide at gmail.com. Chris Soft testing tool. Create your account. Click on create your account. We are going to see all these tasks very practically. What all the tasks are there. Each and every task I am going to give you clear knowledge on these all topics. So that at the end of this session you will be familiar with the Jira part and what you need to do, how you need to do and all. As you know now most of the companies are using Jira for agile management and plus test management also. So agile management and test management both we can do with the Jira tool. So that is the reason Jira is very very important even in interview also the interviewers are going to ask you questions on Jira, how to create the tasks, how to burn the hours in Jira tool. So these are all the things usually they will ask how to create the bug. So what are all the fields will be there while creating the bug and all, how to create the test cases, cycles. So these are all the very, very important questions. So I will try to cover each and every question very clearly in this video. Uh, so that at the end of this video, you, you will be familiar with all the topics in the Jira part. Okay, so let me go ahead here. Let's get started. It, it is asking give your site name. Okay, my site name is Chrisoft Testing. This is also already taken. Testing tool. This is also already taken. Okay, that's fine. Chrisoft Guide I am giving. Okay, this one is available for us. Click on continue. It is loading. Okay, it will ask you some questions like welcome to Jira Software Chrisoft. What type of team do you work in? So you can select whatever the team you want. I am selecting the software development and which of these best describes what you do this will appear in your profile we are a QA engineer so now it is going to populate select the tools that you use most so what are the tools if you are not clear about it you can click on skip okay so if you want to invite to your team members then you can use this but I am unselecting this and clicking on continue uh, some questions here also it is going to ask you you need to select feature type okay click on next okay here we are going to work with the uh, 
classic model actually so click on explore a classic template you are going to get a Kanban, Scrum and bug tracking. So most of the times we will work with Scrum. You can select the Scrum. Click on select. Uh, enter your project name. It is going to ask you. So my project name I am entering. Let me take Gmail. Okay. I am trying to create the. Uh, we, Gmail is everybody known to you. So our let me assume our project is Gmail. Okay. So I entered Gmail. Click on and create. You can click on create okay project will be created for us see our project is created successfully uh, this is the uh, home page of the jira even you, in this drop down if at all you go you can able to see gmail project is created successfully like this how you can create uh, create the cloud version of the jira okay like this how you can work with the cloud version of the jira and you can start practicing on it okay so what we have done project is created successfully who will create the project in real time uh, jira administrator can create the project okay jira administrator can create the project jira administrator can create the users and yeah so sometimes scrum master also having the admin permissions and all he can also able to create it depends on the how they are working uh, based on the company based on the client it is going to happen so either scrum master or jira administrator can create the project users and all okay so let me uh, go into the more deeper into the jira part so so far what we have done we have created the have created the project so in this project you can able to see the yeah gmail project is created successfully and let me explain you so in the this is the gmail storyboard so far we have not created any stories in this jira okay so far we have not created any stories in this jira and uh, yeah so uh, next part is so far we have done create project and then we will go with the create user so can you able to see here people you can click on it add people to jira okay so you need to enter their email address here for example i am entering some email id so uh, some email id i am entering here a b c d e r x y z invite teammate okay invited you have invited two people to jira software okay so you can able to see here those two users will be added okay x y z and you, you can able to see here right so you, if at all you search here with um, a b c d uh, what about what happened so manage users if at all you can go the invite will be sent to whatever the mail id is you have given there see here some a b c d e user is there x y z user is there but what he what did he showing here recent invite or recent invite recent you know if at all you want to you, for example the user is did not get any email then uh, you can resend the invite to them also see these two users we have added xyz and abcde okay like this how the jira administrator can add the users into the our uh, uh, jira software okay that's fine so this is the how you can create the users this is how you can create the users okay the all these tasks either scrum master or jira administrator can do just for your knowledge i am explaining you how to create all these things and all okay so and how to create the version usually in uh, uh, in in real time usually so one version so version will be there wherein both you are going to perform all your development and testing activities over there so, so that version talking about production release that version talks about production let we assume let we assume so one release is there okay let, let we assume one release is there uh, let we assume 1.0 release is there okay what are all the functionalities for this 1.0 we are targeting in multiple sprint in multiple sprints so that is about the release release part so what are all the functionalities we are targeting in multiple sprints that will go as one production release that will go as one production release so 1.0 if 1.0 is completed next they are going to create a 1.1 or 2.0 and all so version talks about what is the production release what functionalities we are targeting and when is the production release so for that version once that production release is completed then 1.0 version is completed okay might be it is there in one sprint or in multiple sprint okay so might be it is there in one sprint or multiple sprint so that is decided by the product owner what functionalities he need to uh, uh, he is expecting from that re, uh, for that release based on that yeah based on that the uh, production release will happen and in either in one sprint or multiple sprints depends on the features prioritized by the product owner if you are not clear with uh, agile model and all i have created one more video on uh, agile process real time agile process 
you can go here and search with uh, Chris Software Solutions. Search with Chris Software Solutions and go here and go to the videos. See here. Recently, I uploaded one video, Chris Software Solutions, Agile Model Real Time. Okay, you can go through this video completely. You will understand what is the Agile process and all. That is the reason. Again, I am not covering here the process part. You can go through this video so that you will understand the real time Agile process. Okay, yeah, fine. So the next part, what we are doing is so creating the version part. version talks about production release as i said it, it is there in one sprint or multiple sprint okay so let me try to create the versioning part okay for creating the version and all you need to go to the releases go to the releases option create version you are going to get it okay create version you are going to get it click on create version i am creating 1.0 1.0 Okay, so and also I'm going to add the functionality. Let me target Gmail uh, functionalities. Gmail functionalities we need to uh, release in this 1.0 version. Click on save. See 1.0 version is successfully created here. Okay, it means that all the Gmail functionalities we need to deliver in this 1.0 version. That's fine. So what are all the things we have completed so far? We are able to create the project. We are able to create the users and version. The next part is we need to create epic and stories. Okay, please remember all these tasks are done by the Scrum Master and our Jira Administrator. You no need to worry. These are all the tasks actually you need to do. Okay, so that's fine. So coming to the here, uh, epic and stories. Before trying to create the epic and stories, let me. Uh, I have created a one small Gmail project, which let me explain you this, and then we will go to the how to create the epic and how to create the user story. Okay. So my epic name is what is the project Gmail created by VK Venkata Krishna. So this is our epic verify Gmail functionalities. This is our epic. This is having five user stories. Okay. First one verify login functionality. Second one compose functionality. Inbox functionality. Sent mails functionality. Drafts functionality. Okay. And a description for this. So like this how this to epic will be divided into multiple user stories each user story we are going to verify something next what will happen once user stories are created or uh, documented by the um, product owner then what will happen in real time then immediately in the beginning of the sprint we are going to have sprint planning meeting in the sprint planning meeting what we are going to do we are going to give the story points for the stories story point tells us what is the complexity of the user story Usually, story points are in the form of Fibonacci series. So, by using that series, it will be 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, like that way. So, each and every story, we need to give the story points. Usually, in real time, a planning poker method we used to follow. Everybody will tell, to, um, discuss in the sprint planning meeting how many user stories they need for each and every story. So, accordingly, they are going to give the um, uh, story points for each and every story that um, everybody will listen what is the complexity of the user story and how many uh, story points it will take for each and every story so based on that at the end we are going to average it and uh, scrum master and entire team will work on the user story points and those story points will be assigned to the particular user story and also they are going to finalize what are all the user stories they need to pick up for that sprint sprint one let me assume these two stories we are taking sprint two these three stories are taking so in the sprint planning meeting finally two things they are going to identify one is story points for each and every story and the second one is which sprint we are going to do it in current sprint how many user stories we can able to take it up in the next sprint what user stories we need to take it up and what are all the total uh, what are all the total functionalities are pending i mean backlog so 
that is about the sprint planning meeting actually in real time how it is happening so all will discuss about the story points and story points will be assigned to the a uh, particular user story and at the end they're going to see uh, what are all the user stories they can take in up uh, uh, take it up in the particular sprint okay so next test cases part as i explained you in multiple videos how to write the test cases and all you can refer those videos so next uh, sprint workflow i will tell you later first let me try to create these user stories in jira tool okay so let me try to create this user story see whenever you want to create the epic and user stories you need to go to the backlog okay backlog talks about all the functionalities backlog talks about all the functionalities what are all the functionalities are there all the functionalities you can able to see here okay see here click on the epic first i want to create the epic can you able to see here option create epic okay w what is our first epic so this is our epic verify gmail functionalities is our epic okay so go to the jira tool and i am clicking on create epic okay epic means again um, in the so many videos i explained you again epic means epic is a high level requirement from the high level requirement we are going to get the low level requirements as stories okay so let me try to create how we need to create the epic but you no need to worry about all these things in the beginning things it will be taken care by the scrum master okay so how to create the epic just for your knowledge i'm explaining you all these things so because we are not jira administrators we are what we are the testers so testing related things we need to do in jira but uh, let me explain you so how the things everything in from starting to ending how the things will happen in uh, jira tool so that will give more knowledge to you and it will be more chance for you to crack the interview if at all they are asking any questions and all so okay so let me uh, copy our epic okay verify gmail functionalities um, this is our epic and if at all you want you can give the summary also okay so what is the summary verifying all the gmail functionalities this is our epic okay click on create see our epic is created successfully and every um, see in jira part everything as is an issue so either it may be a bug it may be a epic it may be a story it may be a task everything is an issue in, in jira terminology everything is they treated it as an issue so you should not map this issue to the defect in our application but jira terminology everything is an issue we should not worry about okay uh, i mean so we should not map this issue to the defect in our application so that is not correct so you need to remember one point that in jira terminology everything is an issue it may be a bug it may be a story it may be a epic anything okay so we have created the epic successfully next what we need to create we need to create the stories also we need to create the story can you able to see here our epic is created okay can you able to see here create issue okay as i told you in here create issue when you click on it may be a bug it may be a task or story or epic everything is an issue in jira terminology what i want to create now i want to create the story now okay so what is the first story verify login functionality is our first story so come here okay so this is one way and second way is you can click on create button also from here also you can able to create the story story okay you can select the story and what are all the mandatory fields are there you can uh, uh, mention here so what is our description verify login functionality even description also i am entering verify login functionality and uh, what is the fixed version this one 1.0 is the version and priority you need to update what is the epic link and this is our epic link this is our epic link sprint till now we have not created any sprint just i am creating the we have created the epic uh, first we have created the version and then we have created the uh, epic and now we are creating the story okay so story i have created successfully next this is for second story um, second story is uh, verify compose functionality i am creating the second story also if i compose functionality okay uh, epic is also there that's fine all fields are there click on create second one is also created successfully let me create the third one verify inbox functionality okay remaining all the fields are there that's fine click on create verify sent mails functionality okay fine what is the next one if it drops functionality like this how this scrum master is going to create the story okay 
So this is my last story. Click on create. These are all stories you can able to see here in your backlog. See, all the five user stories are created successfully. Login functionality, compose, inbox, send mails, drop. Okay, these are related to which version? 1.0. Related to which epic? This is the epic. This is the unique ID. Okay, like this way you can create the version epic and user story. Okay, version epic and user stories like this how you can able to create. Okay, epic and user stories. Uh, so far these are all completed for us the next part is starting the sprint add the user stories into it and the story points update for each and every story so usually sprint duration will be usually sprint duration will be two weeks will be there most of the time sometimes depends on the user stories whatever they are having it may be three weeks also so in the in that case so what scrum master is going to do is he is going to click on create sprint okay is going to click on create sprint where it is in the backlog go to the backlog in the backlog you can able to see the uh, create sprint option will be there once you created the sprint you need to move your stories into it once user stories are created in real time so as i told you sprint planning meeting is going to happen in this meeting they are going to decide what user stories they need to pick up for that sprint see for example again i have given eight story points and five story points these two stories they want to take it up these two stories they want to take uh, they want to uh, take it up for the sprint one and next three they want to take it up for sprint two so in this case in this case so we are verifying the yeah sprint one what are all the functionalities first two user stories login functionality compose functionality and what are the story points for it eight and five you'll see so how to create this sprint how scrum master will create this sprint click on create sprint option see uh, sprint is created successfully for us but no user stories are there but in our backlog five user stories are there what are all the uh, what are all for sprint one login functionality and compose functionality how you need to uh, move the stories to sprint is see carefully here just you need to drag and drop to your sprint just you need to drag and drop to your sprint that's it see now these two user stories are there in sprint one okay verify login functionality and verify compose functionality these user stories two user stories are there for sprint one even you can see in your gmail board also you can see these user stories in your sprint no so for seeing that you need to start your sprint wait wait so we need to start our sprint go to the backlog so far just what we have done we have only created the um, a sprint and we have not yet started once you start the sprint you can able to see it in sprint board okay so these two user stories we move to the uh, yeah sprint one now i am going to start the sprint okay now i am going to start the sprint it will ask you two weeks or three weeks or four weeks or custom but most of the times it will be two weeks on okay so what next so 10 days sprint this one is or end date two weeks automatically taking sprint goal it is taking click on start okay see now you can able to see these two stories in your sprint board sprint board these two stories automatically moved why because we have created the sprint and we moved these two stories into there uh, that is the reason automatically these two stories were uh, moved to the sprint board and also active sprints you can able to see the what user stories you are targeting and all okay and the next part what we are going to learn here is so for what we have done and start the sprint we have done and add the user stories into it is completed next story points update for each and every story uh, as i told you first login functionality what is the story points in real time and all we're going to follow the uh, again i'm repeating planning poker method everybody has to tell how many story points for each and every story based on their discussion finally they will conclude some story points for that story depends on the fun complexity of the story okay see story points verify the login functionality what is the story points? 8 is the story points for login functionality. Let me go here. 8 is the story points, right? How we can update the story points here? You can click on here. Can you be able to see once you click on the user story, just click on the user story. This is the pop-up you are going to get it. In this, can you be able to see here? Story points, okay? In the, here, you are going to get the story points. For login functionality, what is the story points? 8. 8 is the story points. Click on this. That's it. Like this, how the Scrum Master is going to update the story points for each and every story. Similarly, see here, what is the second story? Compose functionality. What is the story points? 
5. Let me try to update the story points for this story also. See, you can able to see here, it is updated story points. Similarly, compose functionality, how many story points? So, 5 story points done. Okay. So, 5 user story points are updated successfully. So, like this, how you can uh, create the epics, create the user stories, start the sprint, create the sprint and start the sprint, move your stories into it and update the story points um, for that one. See, so far these are all the tasks completed from our end. We are able to create the project, users, version, epic and stories and we are adding the, creating the sprint and adding the user stories into it, starting the sprints and story points update for each and every story. Uh, so these are all the activities we have done but these are all done by the scrum master or Jira administrator depends on the client uh, how they are following their uh, structure and all depends on that it will proceed okay either it will be done by scrum master or Jira administrator okay now let we enter into the teams part team needs to do the following activity like task creations for each and every story and creating the subtasks for story assigning the subtasks and burning the hours daily basis how many hours we worked on which story and all we need to burn the hour and similarly sprint life cycle how the life cycle of the sprint will go on uh, we will work on that and then so creating the bugs how to create the bug these things let we try to do practically yeah this is the jira part right so how to create the first one is the how to create the tasks for each and every so for example this is there verify login function usually from testing side what tasks will be there for each and every story what task will be there uh, for each and every story any story for any story what tasks we need to cover first analyze the story that is one task each and everything for that story each and everything whatever we are spending on each and everything we need to yeah, put as a task and we need to update the hours daily analyze the story prepare the prepare test ca uh, cases next review test cases execute test cases analyze results what else will be there and bug track these are all the tasks will be there for any st analyzing story prepare the test cases review test cases execute test cases analyze results and if any bugs are there bug track these are all the uh, testing side development side what what will happen design design the story this is for the develop dev side what will be there so designing part will be there and develop code uh, perform their unit testing okay perform their unit test so these are all the tasks will be. even even in our case also if at all you want to maintain any task like uh, perform retesting and regression test this is also one task will okay so these are all the tasks will be there for each and every story each and every story these tasks will be fine let how to create these tasks for users how to create it so just double click on user story can you able to see here option uh, attach any attachment if at all you want to give you can attach it or create sub tasks we can create from here or you want to link it to any issue you can link it now we are creating the sub tasks right click on create sub task what is the sub task we are trying to create it for first one is what analyzing this okay we need to analyze this that is one sub task analyze the user story that is one sub task prepare test cases is another sub task okay. review test case another sub task execute test cases is another task analyze results analyze results also one sub task these are all will be there for each and every perform testing under regression testing next bug track okay these are all the tasks from testing let me assume developer also is there what task you will add it design design is one task for the development and what is going to do is going to develop the code is one sub task next perform unit testing is one sub task okay so these are all the sub tasks for that story once you go to here in your storyboard your storyboard you can able to see all these uh sub whatever the sub tasks you created uh, these are all the sub tasks you have created for this story verify login functionality analyze story prepare test and everything we will go to here you can able to see try to refresh page see you can able to see all the tasks here what are all the tasks you added all the tasks you can able to see see uh what are what are all there analyze story prepare test cases review test cases execute test cases, analyze result perform retesting and regression testing bug tracking these are all for the testing side and for the development side design part will be there development develop code and perform unit testing for the development okay if once all these tasks are completed then only your story is come see how many tasks you you are able to see here total 10 sub tasks are okay so like this how you can create the like uh, this how you can create the uh, sub tasks for 
each and every okay subtasks for each and every so similar way assign subtasks to t so far we have seen how to create the subtasks for store who need to create subtasks so if tester will be there tester need to create the subtasks see for example scrum master assigned to you one store you need to create this up and who is the developer for that developer need to create their own task okay so if all those tasks are development and testing all those tasks are completed then only that story is come okay if anything is pending that story is in pending okay assign subtasks to team okay we need to assign subtasks to team for example uh, you, your lead is uh, creating all the subtasks for you and he need to assign it to the corresponding team member but most of the times in agile uh, the particular uh, story is assigned to somebody in our team he need to create the task then automatically his name will be getting for that story see nli story is okay who is the assignee we did not assign to anybody else if for example your uh, uh, these tasks fit all these tasks are assigned to ourselves or myself for example then see these three are the users are there this story this task is assigned to myself then we can assign it to my or you you want to assign it to somebody else you can assign it to somebody like this how you can assign the particular task to the team member or yourself okay so if team members are mapped in your project then all the users you can able to see in this drop in this drop down you can able to see all the team so you need to select the particular user here like this how you can assign it to the uh, task to the particular team member or your so see here so assigned similarly prepare test cases also i want to assign myself okay so like this how you can assign the uh, task to the particular team member here it is also assigned self so it part is review test case myself execute test cases it is also unassigned is there execute test cases i am assigned it to somebody else in our team okay like this how you can assign the particular task to the team member so depends on who is executing and who is doing and all but most of the times the story will be task will be assigned to ourselves only so because we are creating the task and we need to do the things if developer will be there then the developer task he they need to assign it to themselves for example protect ever he is a developer then he will assign that story to himself so this how you can create the tasks sub tasks and you can create the uh, uh, for development side and as well as uh, testing for example we are analyzing this okay let me go back to here so burn the hours zero update work hours into zero how to burn the hours how to update the work hours in okay how to update the work hours in zero see for example analyzing the story you are drag and drop to here you are doing it is in, in progress these are all to do it is in in progress and this is done okay for example you are doing in progress is analyzing the story you are okay how many hours you work done double click on uh, it, it is in in progress now okay fine you select that story uh, you select it can you go here in this drop down uh, somewhere you can able to see the log hours will be there. somewhere you can able to see the log hours are. somewhere we can able to see the log option will be there let me show you that analyzing the story we are double click on it and go here this drop down you can able to find log work up okay so daily for example what are all the work agile model uh the deliverable hours are only six hours remaining two hours are for the meeting so six hours you need to burn daily in the jira because why because it is helpful to the scrum master to generate the burn down chart daily or uh, if at all you are having any doubt on burn down chart please go through my other video which i, I am covering for the agile terminologies you can go through that video you will understand it so each and every day day each and every member in a team need to burn the hour at least 6 hours he has to burn so at the end of the day scrum master will take the burn down chart report and he will understand how many hours completed how much work is completed how much work is pending so that is the reason every day each and every team member need to log the work for example this is the syntax here for example i want to log 2 hours for this task okay 2 hours i am logged and you can update here you work done work done analyzing the done analyzing the users okay so save like this how see two hours log time tracking two hours is logged for this task analyze story task okay so similarly yeah like this how you can update the for example okay analyze story you are doing and analyze story is completed you can move that part to here. next you are going to start with the test cases part you need to prepare the test case okay for this one also you already started and you are preparing the and you are going to log the work as four hours are 
uh, 6 hours one day it has took for you to prepare the test case preparing the test case okay so 6 hours you want to log okay 6 hours log like this how you can log your work you can log your work okay nl story is completed see here strike off is it is complete and preparing the test similarly reviewing the test case executing the test cases just you need to move analyzing the result the performing the uh, retesting and shen testing part and bug track okay so currently you are doing all these tasks currently you are doing all these tasks even development also see when we can able to do all this developer need to do their analysis their design and developer need to do develop the code and uh, what else but they need to perform their unit test okay now all the tasks are there in uh, now all the tasks are there in uh, in prog okay now all the so if one by one if it is completed see uh, designing part is completed and move it to here development part is developing the code is completed and move it to here the unit testing also development people are going that is also done you are preparing the test cases also done move the task to here review the test case also done and currently you are executing the test cases and the result perform retesting and rigging and okay for example let me take in this project only sample project only gmail login functionality okay just a few test cases i have updated here you can check here just very few test cases yeah verify login functionality with valid date it is not work let me assume login functionality is not working with valid data what we need to do? login functionality is not working with valid what we need to do? so we need to raise a for raising a bug you can see here can you able to see here create button click on create okay click on create button what you want to raise you want to raise a bug you want to raise a bug in the summary gmail login functionality is not working with valid okay that is my summary of my bug just you can copy paste here fix versions which version we need to fix bug in 1.01 priority okay what is the sprint for this bug sprint one is bug okay epic what is the epic link for this this is my epic so these are all the mandatory fields you need to fill or uh, you need to enter the summary okay and description and who is the reporter automatically will be updated fix versions you can select and priority if login is not working we cannot do anything right then select here highest label if at all you want you can add it attachment and fx version linked issues and assignee automatic assign to okay assign epic link you need to select and which is print this bug that's it okay click on create you can able to see in your storyboard see here gmail login functionality is not working with valid date see this bug is created. this is the symbol for the bug when you place mouse on it you can able to, and what is this one this is a store this one is a bug like this how you can create the uh, like this how you can create the your uh, uh, stories and bugs all bugs these are all the mandatory okay so let me assume this bug is also fine now all my tasks are completed okay I am moving execute my test cases to here. Uh, analyze and analyze results also completed, and my bug is also everything is done. Progress. I have tested this. Now let me assume it is also working fine. Move it to here. Okay. Now all the tasks are come only perform retesting and regression testing is there. Let me assume that is also completed. Uh, let me assume that is also completed. Okay. So all my tasks in the all my tasks in the first one is complete. And uh, the bug tracking is bug tracking is also done. Okay. Update parent issue or now done. All sub task per parent issue gmail to are now done do you want to update this parent issue to math yes update okay so my gmail to verify login functionality is completed sir all the sub tasks are completed okay now one story is completed in this is again another story let me create another story also some sub task analyze same. analyze story prepare test cases review test cases view test case execute good test cases analyze result analyze results is completed next bug tracking retesting and regress okay all my tasks are now go to the uh, storyboard and you can see here all these tasks are updated to the uh, all just i refreshed the page to see the task okay all the tasks are updated these are all the tasks for second similarly developer also will add his own task okay for example analyzing story program i'm preparing test stories let me assume okay we have taken two weeks time for one story first story okay so this is the sprint life cycle so to do by default stories will be there when you are doing something you need to move it to in progress and you need to move it to done but in real time some more columns also will be to do dev in progress dev done qa in progress qa done this is the sprint board will be there okay so these are all the different columns will be there instead of here only to do in progress and done in real time most of the companies these are all the columns will be there dev in progress dev done qa in progress qa done you wait in progress you wait it done ready to release and done okay if let we assume these two sprints are release one then release one all the story uh, in sprint one and print two all we need to complete for release one okay so these are all the different sections will be there in our sprint board in real time but here we can able to see only these three 
but you can consider like these are all columns are one story is there dev in progress they will move that story to and then if they completed dev done then we are going to start with qa in progress qa next uat users will uh, test the uat and uat done next ready to release in the ready to release we are going to give the uh, demo to the product owner and stakeholders if everything is there okay with that functionality then that story will go to the done so this is how in real time it will happen about the uh, sprint life cycle okay uh, this will happen sprint life let me uh, in the similar way you can see here burn the hours in jira done and sprint life cycle explained you just now and creating the bugs how to create the bugs so these are all the various activities we are going to do in the era part so if and one more thing for example one story gmail two story only it took two weeks time and we could not able to spend the time on second story like compose uh, functionality story we don't have time then what we need to do do we need to close this story and go ahead or do we need to move the story to next sprint and go ahead what we need to do for the pending story in the sprint one so while you are for example two weeks time is completed go to the backlog two weeks time is completed and one story is pending let me as one, one one story is pending and we want to this is the sprint one okay so in this sprint one only one story is completed remaining uh login compose functionality story is pending then what we okay go to the active sprint if you click on complete sprint you are going to get a pop see two issues were done one issue was complete select where all the incomplete issues should be moved to new sprint or back okay you want to move the pending story to new sprint or backlog i want to move my pending story to backlog for whatever you want you can uh, you can select here but it will be taken care by the scrum master you no need to worry okay so i want to move it to back see i clicked on complete now you can able to see here some reports print report you can able to see. and status reports you can able to see what is done issue which one is not completed and all all the things these are all the different charts as i told you burn down chart right you can click on this burn down chart you can see here how many story points are completed how much time it took everything you can able to see scrum master can able to see. since we updated all the hours and all uh, for one story and today itself this graph is not proper if daily we We will update the hours then graph will show how many story points are completed and how much work is pending very clearly so in that case yeah how many story points are completed and uh, how much time is pending how much time we burned all those things we can able to see chart okay so now okay i want to go to the again sprint board now no sprints are okay please check it out in the backlog whether that compose functionality is moved or not see here compose functionality is moved successfully to backlog now no sprints are there again you want to create a sprint again click on the create sprint uh, then sprint 2 is come started now compose you can move it to here and whatever the stories you want you can move it to the sprint this is how it will work here so far what are all the things we have seen before going to start with the jafir part so we have seen all the sprint life cycle as i told you this is the real time sprint life cycle to do dev in progress dev done qa in progress qa done uat in progress uat done and ready to release and then we are going to give the sprint demo to the product owner and stakeholders if they are okay then we are moving that story to done then it means that the story is completed successfully without any issue okay fine in that case so these are all the tasks before going to start with the test cases so far we have not yet discussed anything about the test how to maintain the test cases how to create the test by default jira will not support test man by default jira will not support test man for that we need another plugin that is jafir jafir is the plugin we need jafir is the plugin we need to make to do the test management act so so far what before going to jafir what are all the things we have seen how to create the project user version epic and stories and uh, yeah the user story into, into it and starting the sprint story points update task creation sub task assign sub task to team burn the hours daily in jira print life cycle and creating the bug these are all the activities we have seen okay if you know all these things you can successfully able to work with the jira you no know, need to worry you know all these things try to practice all these things based on my video or uh, any doubts will be there you can always put it into a chat box i will clear i will try to clear all your questions and so about the jira part and how we can do that and now we are entering into jafir part jafir is the plugin where in which we are going to use for test management activity so jafir is for test management activity so jafir plugin for us for the test management activities by default jira will not support the so that is the reason we need extra plugin that is jafir to do the test management okay, so how to add the jafir by default jafir will not be there with us then how to add the jafir you can see here no jafir uh, 
plugin how to add the Jafar plugin we will see first uh, go to the app okay find new app on it it is going to show you all the apps or plugins available with the era here you can search with Jafar search with Jafar see the first link you are going to get it Jafar for Jira test man okay so by default Jira will not support the test management act so that is the reason we need extra plugin that is Jafar click on it on it so it will take us to the screen where we can able to add the Jafar so these are all the some documented Jafar under can you able to see it try it free okay try it free after that you can click on it. try it so okay start free it's going to ask you try free uh, after 30 day trial so then you can just tap on start free here adding Jafar for Jira we will tell you when your app has been added okay so we need to wait some time here few seconds it set up the Jafar plugin for can close okay so Jafar for Jira test management was added so now you can go to the your project you can able to see here see you can able to see here Jafar plugin okay Jafar plugin is added successfully so after Jafar plugin so what we have done Jafar plugin it's complete fully next so before going to create the uh, you can create the test cases here yet see one more option is added here earlier test is not there now it is added with Jafar okay so by default Jira is not capable to maintain the test cases that is the reason we have added Jafar plugin to maintain the uh, test cases to execute the test cases and all so test is added uh, newly along with the Jafar okay so that's fine now so before going to that we need to add the uh, go to the Jafar Jafar plugin see here create a test search test import test cycle summary okay so these are all the different test metrics will be there traceability map different options will be there so what you need to do is first you want to create a one test how you can create a test click on create a test okay test is already selected for example one test case uh, first test case I want to create first test case I want so what is the test case name having verify login functionality with valid date that is my sum okay my first test case description also I am adding okay what is the story and all if at all you want you can give it here epic link print we cannot give no, for now uh, which is print we are going to execute and all we don't know so that is the reason that okay and if you will go to the click on create one new test case will be created for you click on create okay your issue has been created but is not to this test click on here verify login your verify login functionality with valid data this is your test now you need to add the steps to the your test to add your step can you able to see here button test detail you can click on here test details now it will populate with three fields will be what are all those three fields means actual results see here test step test data result these three steps will be populated for us you need to click on the test detail now you can add all your test details to quickly let me add it my test step what is the uh, test data I needed application should be available with us fine what is the result browser should be open okay one step is completed so next let me add the second step also similarly you need to add all these steps step is also I have added third one click on go button just I'm adding all these steps to your valid path so one test case we have created one test case we have created where uh, go to the Jeff file you can find your test here search test go to the search test Jafar plugin see your test case visible here search test you are able to see your test case you created and status when you click on here you can able to see all the steps all what are the steps we have created just now see all the steps are displaying properly like this how you can create a test how you can create go to the create and you need to select here test app. it is for the test by default test option will not be there once you install the uh, Jafar plugin then you can get the test app so now what we need to do is we have created one I want to execute that usually cases can be executed in the part of site okay usually test cases can be executed in the part of site so be for executing the test cases so we need to create a cycle and move all your test cases into that cycle and then we need to execute it so that easily we can understand how many test cases are passed how many are failed whether that cycle is passed or we will get okay so how to create the test cycle let me go back to the yeah, set we need to go to the Jafar plugin click on Jafar okay in the Jafar plugin can you able to see here cycle summary click on cycle summary okay I have I just clicked on cycle summary in the here cycle summary I clicked on so here you can able to these are all the create new cycle and also by default ad hoc will be there if at all you want to create any other you can create 1.0 we have created here also ad hoc for 1.0 
I want to create a new cycle or 1.0. I want to create a new cycle. My cycle is um, you know to give here uh, cycle functional testing. I want and these are all not mandatory. If at all you want, you can give it. You can save. Okay, functional testing. My cycle is created. In this cycle now no test cases are. I need to move my click on add test. Add test search was found. Verify. See my test. Uh, just now we created one test case, right? That is populating here. Click on yeah. Then that test case will be added into your cycle. Okay. that test case will be added into your cycle see here one test case is added into your cycle your cycle is functional testing and this is added one test case is added in cycle now you want to execute e execute this test case so just click on here your test case will be open go to here steps will be open everything so execute all these steps on your application how it is okay so execute all these uh, steps on your application and then you need to update the state again for the updating the status go to the cycle summary what are the steps are there your test case execute all those steps on your application and verify whether it is working fine or if everything is working then you are going to make this step as pass now your test case is passed and your cycle is also passed so now i am making a test case as fail your your uh, cycle is also fail or work in progress or blocked or unexecuted whatever you want you can select so like this how you can create the cycle and you can move all your test cases for this cycle what are all we are and see cycle is nothing but see for example we are working for 1.0 you are having 1000 test case for 1. 0 you don't need 1000 test cases you need only 200 test cases for regression and retesting and functional testing in that case why we need to add all the remaining 800 test cases no use for us so for the 1.0 version let me assume 1.0 version we need only 200 test cases then we are going to create a cycle move those 200 to here and execute those 200 and verify whether the cycle is passed or failed or not so that is the importance of it okay so first we are going to create a cycle and move all your test cases and execute them and verify how it is working whether they are working fine or not so based on that we have okay yeah so this part is about the test cases part how to uh, create the test cases create the cycles execute the test cases next pending part is import the test cases from okay how we can import the test cases how we can import the test cases from that part we are going to discuss we will try to import the test cases uh, from the excel sheet excel sheet let me open the test cases sheet if tell you see here uh, these are all our test cases like test case id scenario id test case name description test data and step numbers test steps expect results for the first test case we already uh, created in our jira from the second test case to uh, fifth test case i want to import from excel into the jira So let me open the Jira part. Okay. So how you need to navigate to here? First, go to the projects. You can select your project, and you can see here Jafire. Click on the Jafire. So Jafire is going to be opened. Uh, Jafire will be opening for us. Click on Jafire. Okay. So Jafire is open for us. You can search tests. Existing tests you can able to see here. Only one test case we are having here. Okay, so only one test case, and you can uh, open it, and you can check it out. What are all the steps we have added for this and all? Click on this uh, test details. You can able to see all the details. What are all we have created for this test case? Okay, so if at all you want to assign it to somebody in your team, you can assign it from here. Okay, so that's fine. The next part is so we are going to. I'm going back. We will try to import it from the Excel. First, before going to import, see the column names. What are all I have given? This is scenario ID. This is fine. Test case name, test description, test data, step name, test steps, expect results, and if at all you want to label, you can give the label which functionality it is related to. Okay, and assign. Okay, so you want to go to the assign also. Whom you want to assign? So if at all you want to give whom you need to assign this particular test case also, you can do it from here. Uh, you can do it from here. How we can do that is, see for example, you need to go to the uh, user section here. Go to the yard people or search people. whom you want to assign that test case also you can do it from the excel 
okay so manage users who are all the users are there in this project you can able to see here or uh, you can see here for example i want to assign it to abcd some user so yeah so this user is abcde something is there okay uh, let me go back let me go back so these are all the users are there uh, we will get the in the url itself we will get the uh, some code related to that particular user that is fine go to the jira uh, so who are all are there for example i am clicking on this user so this is the code i want to assign directly uh, this test case to the particular user then in that case in that case so what we can do is we can assign the test case to the particular user so wh whatever you open with that user Chrisoft testing tools in the url you are going to get the code after people after people you are going to get the code this code we are going to give it in our excel sheet okay in the assignee section okay so where it is going to assign this test case Chrisoft testing tools it is going to assign Chrisoft testing tools it is going to assign this a particular test case so I'm giving same code here also and let me give here also make you here fine so now all these test cases are going to assign automatically to Chrisoft testing tools so and also first test case already we done manually I want to do it from second test case second test case row number is what nine Okay, now you need to go here go to your project go to your project open your project go to Jafire okay in the Jafire can you able to see here option import tests okay you can able to see here option import tests can you click on it I clicked on import tests I want to import my test cases from Excel sheet into Jira okay so in the setup you can able to see some text they have given which you can understand based on this how to do that and sample XLS files also you can download from here so that's fine so now I am going to import my test cases and the row number is from 9 I want to start the second test case because first test case already uh, I have updated manually click on choose file so this file is this one in the downloads agile fine I have ch chosen my file next here what is my sheet name test underscore cases is my sheet name you need to remember this one also test underscore cases now okay fine I uploaded the agile data SLS X click on next so row number to begin import what is the row number to begin import ninth row because first test case I created manually so you need to update here 9 so I am asking it to start from ninth row import all sheets or import selected sheet so if at all you are having all the sheets test cases then you can select the first option just in this case I want to import only this particular sheet then in that case you need to give test underscore cases select the second option enter your sheet name here our sheet name is test underscore cases this is our sheet name okay test underscore cases our sheet name next what is the discriminator what you want to give here empty row or id change or test case name change test case name change which one you need to give it here so I am giving test case name change when test case name changes that are you want to maintain each and every test case one empty row then you can select here empty row that is fine 
or id change id you want to change it then id also or else you can give test case name change i am giving test case name change because test case name from here to here it is changing it means that this is one test case and this is another test case and also this is another test case so i am giving test case name change if at all you want to maintain one empty row for each and every test case then you can give that option also as per your convenient okay import the test case name change i need to give here our sheet name test underscore cases click on next next screen you need to map your excel columns to the jira columns you need to map your excel columns to the your excel sheet columns to the jira columns excel data where it need to update in the jira test cases okay we need to map jira columns with our excel columns then based on this mapping whatever the data is there that data is going to store it into the jira in the in the test cases first one assign assign already we have assign column is there select this it will populate with all your excel columns in this drop down is populated with all your excel columns just we need to map your excel columns to the jira columns that's it that is what we need to do so select here um what is uh, assignee right go go to the uh, assignee yeah assignee is there comments we don't have components is also okay description we need to map we have the description column right uh, test case name test case id step name scenario id and uh, open the excel sheet where is the description test description column is there okay so test description column is there test description column is not showing here yeah below it is there okay test description you need to select here epic link we don't have fixed versions also okay label we have the column label in our excel right you need to select the label name test case name you need to select the uh, test case name you need to provide here and priority is okay we are not selecting priority and the result you need to provide the test results expected result provide here sprint also okay step test steps will be there right we need to provide the test step test steps yes test steps and the test data also we have column test data column okay like this way you need to map your excel columns with the jira columns then whatever the data in your excel it is going to store it into corresponding column in your test case okay what are all we mapped here we mapped the assignee i showed you how to get the assignee and uh, description you, you, we mapped it to description column and the label we mapped it test case name and expected results test data we mapped successfully okay now if you will go here in jira only one test case is there now after this import we are going to have five test cases one is manually created one and four are imported from this uh, imported from the excel i click on next okay so click on validate four issues will be created correctly begin import you need to click on begin import then four test cases will be imported into your jira okay four issues have not been imported due to errors what are all the errors uh, download a detailed jfir for jira for this import okay eight master row eight sheet name test error message error while creating issue assignee account id does not exist assignee does not exist assignee does not exist assign account id does not exist error while creating issue master row 8 21 22 18 why assign is does not exist c5 now why some other assign is coming here we updated to this one did we save this or no okay i saved it 
no we updated the different one but it is taking something else see it is taking this one I think this file is where this file is there uh, just click on save as yeah it is there in the downloads only let me save it as agile 1 click on save okay now agile 1 I saved it go here go to agile jira again I am to begin another import uh, choose file downloads agile 1 I am selecting now click on open fine click on next row number it need to start from 9th row and delimiter is your test case name change import selected sheet my sheet name is test underscore cases okay test underscore cases click on next again we need to do mapping here if at all you want you can save this configuration also okay whatever configuration is there you can save it for future reference assignee i am giving assignee comments description is there so description test description i am selecting here epic link external id these are all okay label we need to give the label also name we need to select here test case name so priority reporter result this is your result and expect result sprint is fine step test steps we need to select here uh, test steps yes and uh, test data we need to select here test data yes okay we have again mapped all these columns uh, you can see from the beginning to now so assign is selected test description and the label is selected and name expect result test step okay fine click on next validate four issues created successfully begin import four issues have been imported successfully because uh, it, it seems earlier the excel sheet is not saved successfully now it is saved where you can check it out go to the search tests you can able to find here five test cases see here five test cases are there this is manually we created so that is the reason assignee is not there these above four test cases are we imported it from the excel so these four test cases including assigning it is updated successfully okay you can open any one test case and see these steps how it is added open the test case go to the test details you can able to see all your steps here see whatever manually we created everything we imported it from the excel all the test cases so what are the details like it is the description and test step test data test result and assignee okay and the label so these are all added successfully like this how you can import the uh, test cases from excel into the jira so finally what are all the things we learned in this uh, complete here so in the jfire plugin part we have created the test cases create the cycles execute the test cases import the test cases from excel so if you know all these things you are able to successfully work with jira tool even in real time as well because we are all are using same features only in jira even in real time you no need to worry about anything else in the jira because these are all the activities we are doing in the jira part scrum master jira administrator can do the uh, creating the project users version epic stories and uh, add the user stories into it start the sprint story points and each and every team member has to do he has to create his tasks and assign the ta subtasks to team creating the subtasks 
burn the hours daily this is very very important task every day each team member has to burn the hours and the sprint life cycle he has to do it he has to do the sprint life cycle and creating the bugs he need to do so this is the team need to perform all these operations daily basis and zephyr plugin is used for it is for the test management tool where we can maintain our test cases execution results and uh, yeah so these things we're going to maintain here and how to create the test cases we have seen and uh, how to create the cycles execute the test cases and importing the test cases from excel so if you know all these things happily you can work with the jira tool part we no need to worry about anything else in the jira side okay so that's all for jira video and one more request from my end is if at all you are not subscribed to my channel uh, chris software solutions please subscribe it and encourage me to do more and more, more videos if at all you are not clear anything here you can put it into a chat box i will help you on that thank you